In the following example, we're going to use the Doppler effect for sound waves. So let's begin. A siren goes off on a car that is traveling at a velocity of 30 meters per second and the frequency of the sound wave produced by the siren is 3000 hertz. Assuming the velocity of the sound wave is 346 meters per second, in part A, what frequencies does a stationary observer hear before the car passes and after the car passes? So we're looking at two different cases. And in part B, what frequency is heard in a car traveling in the opposite direction toward the first car at a velocity of 20 meters per second? So let's begin with with part A. So let's look at case number one. Case number one is when the car is traveling toward the stationary observer. So we're going to use the following equation to help us determine the frequency that is observed by our person standing on the road. So F prime is equal to the original frequency of the sound which is given to be 3000 Hertz divided by, so we have a negative sign here because the car is traveling toward the person. That implies that the wavelength of the sound wave will be less and the frequency will be greater. So this frequency should be greater than 3000 Hertz. So the velocity of the source is given to be 30 meters per second. The velocity of the sound wave is 346 meters per second. We plug in our quantities and we get approximately a frequency of 3,285 hertz, which is greater than the original 3,000 hertz frequency. Now let's look at the second case. The second case basically involves the car traveling away from the stationary observer. So now instead of using a negative sign between the one and this fraction, we use a positive sign. So our new frequency will be less than this frequency because the wavelength is greater than before. So the frequency prime, our perceived frequency, is equal to the original frequency of 3000 Hertz divided by 1 plus the velocity of the car divided by the velocity of the sound. So 30 divided by 346, notice the units will cancel. And we get a quantity of approximately 2761 Hertz, which is less than the value of 3000. So let's move on to part B. What frequency is heard in a car, in a second car that is traveling toward the first car with a velocity of 20 meters per second? So this is our diagram. Car number one that is traveling with a velocity of 30 meters per second that's creating the sound is traveling towards car number two. And car number two is the observer. And the observer, car number number two is traveling towards the source car number one at a velocity of 20 meters per second. So we essentially want to use the combined equation for the Doppler effect for sound waves that we spoke about in the previous lecture. So no, notice we're using a positive sign on the top and a negative sign on the bottom because these two objects are approaching one another. The source and the observer are approaching one another. So the frequency that we want to calculate F prime is equal to the original frequency frequency f of 3000 hertz multiplied by the following ratio. So the sum of the velocity of the sound wave plus the velocity of the observer divided by the difference between the velocity of the sound wave and the velocity of the source. So 3000 hertz multiplied by 346 plus 20 divided by 346 minus 30. Because 20 meters per second is the velocity of the observer and 30 meters per second is the velocity of the source. So 
we plug our values into the calculator and we get a frequency of approximately 3475 hertz.